Hi and welcome back to my channel. This is a 10 autumn outfit ideas video. It's quite a mixed bag of like going out outfits and more casual outfits. It's basically clothes I've been loving, outfits I've been loving, really wanting to wear and wearing recently. Okay, so this outfit is a puffer jacket and a matching legging and crop top, like sort of workout but casual set. The crop top and leggings bag and sunglasses are all from my brand Future Shore and the jacket is H&M and the trainers are New Balance 530. What I love number one about this outfit is the colours, really autumnal colour palette and very matching, it's like different shades of brown. I just love the way puffer jackets look with the legging set, really like the sporty casual off duty sort of look. This is something that I would wear number one to work out but number two just like really casually walking doing errands that sort of thing it's very my sort of style the sunglasses go perfectly with the whole color palette as well brown acetate and I love the way the lenses match the frames um yeah these are my design from my brand and I absolutely love this these the shape are called Erin and yeah I am so 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 proud of these i'll have to do another video talking about sunglasses one day i always wear these gold chubby hoops from asos they are my absolute favorite and i wear them non-stop and i just think like a little gold hoop always finishes an outfit okay next up i absolutely love this outfit but when i posted it on instagram it really bombed and i don't know if it was the outfit or the photos so i'm keen to hear your opinion but regardless i still love it it's this oversized blazer i feel like i bang on about this blazer non-stop it's from fuchsia shore and it is just the perfect shape the perfect cut super oversized and masculine. I'm actually wearing a large. I've got both a medium and a large. And for this outfit, I wanted it even bigger. I paired it with this Orson Iris white t-shirt. And it's just like a super simple little, quite tight white t-shirt. And it's got the sort of mean girl style boob cutouts. And it's like more expensive when it comes to t-shirts, but I just love the brand Orson Iris. And I, I have worn this t-shirt so much it's worth every penny i paired it with this zara skirt it's from last year i'm not sure if they sell it i'm sure they do similar it's just a line with a little split super simple but really useful for styling and these h&m boots i spoke about in my first h&m haul i love them the shape of them the heel the whole toe point is just such a cool shape and I think they work with like my shape and they look like they're not too tight on my legs basically. Um, the colour, nice neutral camel colour and accessories, I've got the little gold chubby hoops again, these future brown sunglasses and my Jacquemus Grand Bambino bag that I wear so much. I wear this bag so much I've actually bought another one in a different colour that is coming today that I'm really excited about. And yeah, I think the white of the bag and the t-shirt goes together. Honestly, this bag is so good for styling. This is like a little bit more dressy and just like a nice, like casual dressy outfit. Um, yeah, I just love the boots with the blazer and everything, the oversized blazer look. It, Okay, so a little bit more casual, we've got this Nikki Studios sweat set in this bright green colour with a sweater vest, Chuckmas bag and New Balance 480. Number one, I spilled candle wax all down this gilet and um, yeah, I can't get it out. I've used like an iron and a paper towel. Any suggestions i've proper flattened the wording as well doing that um yeah which is such a shame because i love the gilet it's asos men's i got it last year and i know they do similar and i've actually got a couple linked on my instagram and i'll link some down below this sweat set from our Nikki studios i wear a large in the top and medium in the joggers it is their sweat pieces are really really nice as they come they are just lovely quality big cuffs it's like a nice pop of colour, it's really easy to throw on and I'm loving gilets over sweat sets. I feel like they're a bit marmite, love them, I hate them, but they're just really warm and it's quite like 
quite like a tomboy kind of outfit really comfortable and cozy and a little bit fashion with the Jack and Moon's bag again um because i'm wearing white trainers i feel like they go well together these are the new balance 480 and they are really nice comfortable like a nice alternative to just air force ones um and they've got the green trim around the end which goes with the green whole green look and yeah i really like these i think i had to get them in size up because they didn't have my size in stock so one of those that goes out of stock all the time but they they fit fine and i quite like it. the trainers being big so yeah that's more of a casual casual look okay next outfit this long asos trench coat paired with a dior top my future short stone trousers air force ones and i couldn't decide on bag it's either this Jacqueline's basket bag or the white one again because I lean towards the white one because it matches the shoes but then I like mixing sort of autumn summer pieces together and think it's kind of cute the basket bag with the long trench coat so yeah let me know which which would you pick basket bag or little white bag and my few short sunglasses again they just go with everything so yeah this top is actually from a place called wardrobe hire lent me one of their pieces for a few days they like rent lots of designer items they're a really cool independent instagram brand and i'll link them below i love this top it's sort of like a very nudie pink like it's quite wearable and it's got the jador dior yellow writing across it's quite classic i think it's maybe a 90s design that's come back um yeah this trench coat from asos which is one of my wardrobe staple pieces it's quite long almost ankle hitting but i like that and super oversized and my menzy for sure trousers nice bit of tailoring but it's like comfortable tailoring nice neutral color that fits with loads of things in my wardrobe I feel like I've got quite a mix of dressy and more casual looks in this video. Anyway, this is a vintage rework suit from Osensai Vintage. It's a really cool vintage brand um, by a girl that I follow on Instagram called Tannis Rose and she is unreal, amazing. If you don't follow her already, I highly recommend. So they do sort of reworked suits this suit it is a reworked like jaeger suit it is beautiful so so nice it like really feels brand new the quality is amazing and yeah it's been made into this cropped blazer and skirt set you could definitely style these both separately i would definitely wear this cropped jacket with like leather trousers or jeans um and i'm starting with a roll neck I love a roll neck. This one's Bershka, I think, and it's pretty old. What I love about it is, I'm wearing it wrong. What I love about it is the um, neck is really high and tight. <laughs> it's a cropped length, but like, it's a cropped length, but with um, long sleeves and I've got a bit of a rib in it. Yeah, it's a bit old, but I'm sure they, they still do similar. For accessories, I have got these Lexola sunglasses. Love them so, so, so much. No, they're the black frame with the yellow lens and just, I love these. Bought these last winter and I still love them just as much. And my Prada bag, my H&M boots again. Any excuse to wear these boots. But this outfit would be perfect for like a brunch, like a boozy brunch or like dinner okay i could have not show you this top oh my gosh i i love it so much i know it's like not generally me like it's bright pink it is quite revealing but i it just brings me joy i love it so much when i bought when i got it i did think really amy are you gonna keep this it is a jacquemus top and so it's quite expensive but i it just brings me joy i love it i'm styling it with these le brown leather trousers you are never gonna guess where they are from i don't think i've ever bought anything from this company in my entire life until these trousers they are from abercrombie and fitch really really random i know i've got to like double check that actually from there because i can't even believe it myself yeah literally abercrombie and fitch 
how random i actually saw them on tiktok on a girl and they looked really good so i thought i'd try them and they are really really nice they're a little bit red toned so they look great with this top but they're actually kind of tricky to style with my more neutral like colder palette clothes just saying but otherwise they are such a great fit i'm a size 10 what size am i wearing i find out I'm a size 10 and I'm wearing a 28 inch waist and they fit great, really nice around the waist. Um, the legs are sort of like a bit of a straight leg. They've got a little bit of stretch in them and they feel really warm and comfortable, like proper feel like I could do my shopping in them or something. Um, I'm also wearing, okay, so I'm wearing Air Force Ones. I would wear this outfit to like a day, day drinks, like, boozy brunch maybe but i intended it to wear i intended to wear this outfit with some orange zara really simple strappy heels i have but i went out at the weekend and my friend wore them and stole them so i instead was going to wear these heels these were gifted to me by public desire they're like a amina muadi style like knockoff i love their heels her heels so so much so I thought I'd pretend to live my Amina Mahdi dreams wearing these, but they are not good for public desire. They, the straps don't, they don't stay up on my feet. I don't know if they are too big or something, but yeah, they don't fit me. And also wouldn't work because this thing's gold and they're silver. So yeah, they're out the window as well. I did get another pair of Amina Mahdi inspired heels that I love from public desire that I will show you. So yeah, instead I'm styling it really casually, even though I'd probably style it more dressy. I also feel like my hair has to be slicked back when I've worn this top. With my hair down, it's just too much like blonde pink going on. And the slicked back hair just like brings it back a little bit. I feel like the, the top is the main star of the show. Um, and my, again, brown sunglasses and of course, Oh, I love this one. This is an easy go-to when you don't know what to wear, all black kind of outfit. I'm wearing this roll neck from Bershka, my Zara, no, H&M Gilet, Zara leather trousers, Lexola sunglasses, Prada bag, and same gold earrings from ASOS and little gold chubby rings from ASOS too, as well as my New Balance 530 trainers. I love an all black look, it's just, it's really comfortable, easy, chic, throw on, sort of a roll neck and leather trousers, it's just definitely autumn staples and I think this gilet goes really well with the sort of super tight roll neck, yeah it's a nice balance of oversized and fitted pieces. The gilet is from my first H&M haul, I got it in a size large and my Zara trousers are from my Zara haul. Same Prada bag and I love these sunglasses in the winter just to add a little bit of color to an outfit. Super comfortable and warm and yeah, this is the type of thing I like to chuck on when I have no idea what to wear. Every outfit I'm like, oh, I love this one as if I didn't style them all. Um, so this one is brown tracksuit with trench coat and cat quite casual vibes the tracksuit is from my brand future shore it's like this lovely very, it's a very autumnal color now i see it but i did bring it out in summer and brown color with a bright pink a little tiny bright pink logo for a pop of color nice like sort of slit not too baggy joggers but not too like tight either my asos trench again love this trench this cap is from a brand called sports lux i just really like this cap like the sort of vintage style logo it's almost the peaks a nice shape and this green color goes with my trainers again the new balance 480 and they've got the sort of green little trim on them and it's just like a perfect match i love a nice color match and i'm wearing my mini if you sure tote bag i think i'm gonna bring some of these back because they did sell out but i love a mini tote bag it is actually a really really useful size it sort of fits of like water bottle and your purse and 
your phone and all those bits and it styles really well with a trench coat I just love the little brown, very autumnal colours, very casual, but like quite a nice put together outfit. Again, we've got the same old hoops, sunglasses, and ring. This outfit I want to show you, I actually wore to a party at the weekend. It is this top, which is from O Poly. They didn't have it in stock in my size. So I looked on Depop and a girl was selling it. Perfect. Um, so I got it off Depop. It's a size 10, my size, and it is really perfect fit it does give you a little lift which is much needed but it also does fall down a bit um yeah so i was having to check myself a little bit it's got this sort of mesh like layer that comes up anyway i love the shape of it it's like a corset top and it's just got this little detail that it reminds me of the meow tops if you've heard of meow um just like a nice simple shape and i paired it with my leather trousers and a few short blazer I put again so bag and these heels are the ones from public desire that i like they are another amina muadi dupe so they're a square toe and they've got sort of a diamond t style straps and just a plain strap around the ankle and the sculpted heel they were really comfortable they're not too high at all and i just love how simple and minimal they are overall i think this is quite a simple chic going out outfit if you want something quite minimal um, and understated and yeah i love this kind of going out outfit. okay so the last and final outfit it is a leather blazer with jeans white tee white trainers white bag look this blazer I haven't actually worn out yet, I haven't even taken off the tags. I love it. It is from the Frankie shop and it is a beautiful faux leather, beautiful shape. It, they are like a little bit more on the expensive side. I completely see why after seeing like the quality of the faux leather is just not comparable to what you get from Zara or H&M or ASOS. But the colour, the colour is beautiful, but it's throwing me off with how to style it. I feel like it's like a little bit summery, but you don't really wear a leather blazer in summer. So yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not going to take the tags off or wear it yet until I figured out a few outfits for it. But I do really like it with a white top. This is my awesome Iris one, but I would happily swap it out for like a roll neck, a plain white tee, long sleeve white top. Yeah, any sort of like basic like that and my these are my zara jeans they are quite old now but they are very similar to the zara full length wide leg jeans and they come up really long and puddle at the bottom bag and i am wearing my air jordan white mid triple ones i think it's something like that i'll link them below love these trainers i need to send them to be cleaned because i wore them to death last winter they look really nice with joggers and things like that as well and for the final look i've gone for some bigger hoops um i think these are asos either asos or monkey that's it that was my 10 autumn outfit ideas video let me know which one was your favorite if any and if there's any other videos you'd like to see from me please let me know you can follow me on Instagram at Amy Fuchsia where I post outfit ideas every single day. And yeah, make sure you like and subscribe.